Hey everybody, it's Jason Lindsay with The Business of Fitness and JasonLindsay.com. I'm here with your Business of Fitness tip for today and your joke, observation, or anecdote for today. I'll start with the Business of Fitness tip as usual, but I'm going to remind you that Facebook and the YouTube, do what you got to do on there to comment, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. I'd love it if you did it. And Business of Fitness tip. Uh, this book called You Are Not So Smart, I've, I've mentioned it before in another video tip of the day, and I'll probably use it a few times. It's a really cool book. I, have, I think I mentioned blog posts even. Actually, I know I have, uh, not long ago. But it's got these really short chapters. There's like 30 or 40 of them. And it's basically the, the premise is, they start the chapter out with the title, and the one I'm going to read to you, I'm not going to read you the whole chapter, don't worry. It's called Hindsight Bias. And then they'll say the misconception and then the truth. The misconception on hindsight bias is, after you learn something new, you remember how you were once ignorant or wrong. That's the misconception. The truth, everybody, is you often look back on the things you've just learned and assume you knew them or believed them all along. The reason this one is, it hits home with me is as a, as a consultant, a teacher, an educator, uh, it, you know, it's, it got me to thinking. I mean, it's, it's one of the reasons why it's a challenge. I'm not trying to be a martyr here because I'm happy what I'm doing. I'm successful and everything's great. But, you know, it's... I start thinking about other people in my life, teachers and consultants and leaders and CEOs and bosses and whatever, who, you know, you, you forget what they've taught you and what you've learned, and, um, you, and you have this misconception that you've, that you've, known, you've known all along, or I'm, I'm sorry, that, that you'll remember how you learned it, but the reality, as they state in this chapter, is that you actually kind of forget that and you just feel like you've always known it. So think about that once in a while. You know, and I, and I have to catch myself sometimes, too, and go, gosh, you know, I really learned that from Thomas Palmer. I learned that from, from so-and-so, and, and I wonder how many people I've taught that, you know, whatever. So, anyway, just uh, from, a, from a leadership standpoint, for you people watching that have employees and, 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 and employees are trying to get something out of that, that position, you know, keep that in mind, and then also but keep in mind where, where you've been and, and what you've learned and who's taught you. So, that's your business up fitness tip for today, and I'll have a comment on it. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. Uh, but before you go, let's go with a joke. Teacher says to the pupil, you know, too much time on the internet surfing around is going to cause you to be, uh, you know, really, really fat and when you get older. And, and, the, teach, and then the pupil says, um, boy, you must have spent a lot of time when you were a kid on the internet. So that's your joke for today. I'll go change some lives. <laughs>